Now, it could be the story of almost any of those post-war high-rise housing blocks. Park Hill Estate in Sheffield was built as social housing, but over the years, initial optimism gave way to depression, poverty, drugs and crime. Then, faced with demolition, it was granted listed status. Now, after being given an expensive makeover by a private company, it's been shortlisted for a prestigious architecture award. And among the first people to move in, a lecturer, a doctor and two design agencies. Our social affairs editor, Jackie Long, has been to Sheffield to see how Park Hill's fate has mirrored our changing times. In sight of a glittering prize, the Park Hill Estate, once described as a cloud of bad breath hanging over Sheffield, now shortlisted for one of the country's most prestigious architectural awards, the Stirling Prize. The aim of this development was to create something new without entirely destroying the old. Arguably, its success won't be measured in architectural prizes, but in whether it can recreate the sort of community established when the original Park Hill was built, more than 50 years ago. I used to live in this spot in one year. You can see the house where they used to live from here. Former miner and steel worker John Perry was one of the very first tenants to move on to Park Hill in the early 60s. With its indoor toilets and bath, he says it was like moving to Buckingham Palace. Its wide walkways, perfect places to catch up with the neighbours. Here were I can say special days, a, a new, brand new like community. But as the concrete of the estate started to crumble, so the community too began to break up. Personally, I think they started putting on families in. They started to turn out, and I think, mix the uh, problem families in. We got families to turn out and try and bring them to their level, but I don't think it worked. By the 80s and 90s, plagued by crime and decay, residents dubbed it San Quentin. Its downward trajectory, a familiar story of high-rise living, something the regeneration has to reverse. The people who, are, who live in these buildings need to, need to want to live here. They need to buy into the idea. You can't put people places they don't want to be. That's, that's never going to work. I don't think there's any, anything inherently wrong with high-rise if the people want to live there and it's looked after, and there's some shared facilities and space. And the new Park Hill is dependent on getting that right. Only a third of the flats will be social housing. They need people to buy the rest. But it'd be nice to see something new. That was social. That would yeah. bring people together. Mm. Yeah. Architect James Mills is one of the first to do just that. Uh, from my perspective, I, I do hope that it becomes quite vibrant. I do hope that we can interact and everybody can you know, get to know each other um, and help each other or build up a community. I've never been real part of a community. But for some former residents, even with regeneration, its best days are still behind it. The park will, will never be park again to what it were when I were. We've done it when I were brought up on it. Views on Park Hill have always been divided. While many clamoured for demolition, it's now a listed building. As it awaits judgment on its architectural merit, it must also find enough people who want to live in it too. Jackie Long in Sheffield.